Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 10 of Let's FIFA 13, a somewhat longer episode, 10 and a half minute, and I have quite a bit uh, of stuff to talk about, which doesn't really regard the gameplay, so uh, just quickly to give you an overview, we'll start off with a bunch of Division 1 gameplay, I will take some cheap goals throughout the gameplay, because, uh, well, I wanted to try and win Division 1, and get uh, at least... Get that title, get those uh, coins, and uh, yeah, so you'll see me take a few cheap goals, because when you just go full on with the skill moves, you can end up uh, losing some stupid points, so you, yeah, as you can see there, a cheap goal, and you'll see a few more throughout the episode, but yeah, on to um, what else will be happening, we'll have a bit of trading as well, I know a lot of people have been asking for it, and I've kind of built my two squads now, so I feel it's about time where I can get onto the trading, and we'll finish it all off with a bit of the gold cup, so um, let's uh, get into the first thing uh, topic I wanted to talk about which is the 10th episode basically so my idea is that every time we reach a number like number 20 30 40 50 episodes stuff like that we will have a longer episode so that's also the reason why this episode is longer than the usual episodes I'll try and have a 10 plus minute episode or maybe maybe even 15 minutes who knows but yeah I'd I know some people would like to see longer episodes, so if you think this could be a cool idea, like uh, every 10th episode we'll have a longer episode, let me know. And another thing I think that could be pretty cool to do every 10th episode is to kind of um, implement a rule to the series. So we have the... Um, the penalty kick counter at the moment which is uh, every time I get a penalty you'll see the counter up in the top corner and uh, I also suggest that we like in the start that uh, I had the thing which I can't sell on a five star skiller if the if it's the first time I have him in the squad I cannot sell him on I have to keep him so uh, stuff like that maybe it could be and a rule saying that um uh, you cannot sell on this player before you complete uh, a certain achievement like uh, each player by should have an achievement to complete or each squad should complete a certain task before I could do something uh, or maybe even uh, I know a lot of people have been requesting that uh, I have a camera uh, filming and when recording uh, the controller when I play the game and uh, it is something I also like to get into the into the series I still need to buy a camera but that might be something I also would be able to uh, implement in the future so it is it's stuff like that that I think would be pretty cool to implement and uh, keep it a little bit more interesting and um, make you guys have a bunch of uh, input on how the series will develop because I think it will be a long season just like the last one just um, trying to get as much good stuff out for you guys but yeah on to the gameplay in Division 1 we win the game there 5 if 3 uh, by a hat trick by Pato and uh, it starting, starts to look pretty good in the Division we have a, a bunch of coins and I actually decided to go out and pick up Samuel Eto'o I didn't really want to pick him up because he's a little bit expensive this week due to his in form but uh, I wanted to keep on playing in Division one also with the substitution squad so I list up Traoré and I get Eto into the squad uh, I guess he will be a little bit cheaper next week but um, yeah I had the coins and thought I might as well go out and get him and then we keep on going into Division 1 coming up against a very solid squad there and he gave me a really tough game he makes it 1-0 there off the head of Ritzerati but just 4 minutes later we'll find McGeady he takes out the keeper with a little ball and puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-1 so not too bad there and then it's a toe on the ball makes its way into the box we try for the near post finish should probably have cr uh, passed it across on at least to get the goal because he will get back to make it a 2-1 just before half time and I am trailing but we go into the second half over the top ball to find Busufa and it's completely open in the back of the box we pass it across once again I know it's a cheap goal but as I said earlier I just really want to to get the title and we keep on pushing on to try and get the third goal and then in the 90th minute we get it very very lucky I'd say this game could have ended as a draw as well as I wanted and it could also end it as uh, with a win to him so it was such an even game and I was lucky to to get the third goal there in the final seconds of the game and I get another three points and this looks very very good in the division five games ago it looked really really bad but five wins in a row can can mean quite a bit in order uh, to win the division one title so not too bad there and we get an early lead in the next game as well and then we miss a sitter there with Terrapt he did some good work there with the ball will drag back but miss it completely but on the 
in the second half. He's on the ball again, and Eto'o scoring his second rebound goal of the game to make it a 2-0. And it's almost pretty much everywhere in this game. Nice skill moves there, but unlucky not to get the goal. And once again, on the ball, lovely stuff over the slide tackle, but his left foot is not that good on the volley. So a no goal that time around, and instead it is him getting a nice little finish there, sideways volley to make it 2-1, but way too late. I get the three points, I win the Division 1 title, and I was quite happy about that. I did play a little bit sweaty throughout uh, the games, but I really wanted to get the coins and the pack, and we'll list up all the items from the pack apart from the contracts, because you can always use the contracts. And with those coins from the Division 1 title, I felt it was about time to go out and do a little bit of trading, make some coins, and maybe build our way towards some of the better 5-star players. So as you can see here, a bunch of the items from the pack did sell on, and I went out and picked up uh, Fry, the keeper I already have, uh, because he's you can get him quite cheap because he's a non-rare, but in a 4-1-2-1-2, he can also sell on for quite a bit, about a 1,000 coins to 1,100. So yeah, I pick him up for between 300 and 550 coins, and I will list him up to make a little bit of profit on him. And I also pick up uh, Kabul, one single one, for uh, 5,100 coins and I'll list them up for 6.4k and I listed them up overnight and the next morning they all sold on, made me a little bit of profit and I sit on 18,000 coins. Then I went out and picked up a Chucha Vigno, he is in team of the week and that means his price will go up a little bit but I guess I'll sell him on before he goes up too much and while I was looking for left wing to left mid card I find this card is center attacking mid to center mid for 1,600 coins. What a bargain, I will list it up for 9k coins and it will eventually sell on and make me a great profit and then on some open bits I picked up a two more fries and I'll list them up again they will make about a 700 coin profit which is not too bad in these early stages where I don't have that many coins and I also got two left wing to left mid cards which I will apply uh, to the two Javinius I bought in the uh, in the left wing position because they are in a 4-1-2-1-2 and they are a whole lot more desirable as a left mid so yeah I apply the cards and um uh, to both of the Javinius there, I put them into the squad and apply the items so uh, I can list them up. And I list them up both a little bit under 6k, so uh, the total cost for them was about, um, I believe, 4k, something like that. And I'll list them up for 6k, so I'll probably make about 1500 coins after tax. And as you can see there, just before the center tag mid to center mid card did sell on and make me a great profit, 7k there. And then I went out and picked up um, two center forward to striker cards and uh, two center attacking mid to center forward cards because there's a player I'll start trading with and he will make me a bunch of coins and that is Terrapt. Now, I know I said that I didn't want to, to sell on a 5-star player but I feel it's alright if I already have him in the club. Like, I have Terrapt in the club and I think it's alright to do some trading with him so uh, I bent the rules a little bit, I guess we could call it and uh, I uh, start trading a little bit with Terrapt. So yeah, I buy him for a little bit over 1k, apply the items and list him up for a little bit under 11k so it's about 2 to 3k profit on him so that is not too bad it's a lot of coins coming in quickly and um while I play the games, it's always good to have an income uh, apart from the coins from the game. So yeah, we're going to the Gold Cup, and I come up against that squad you just saw on the screen. A complete remake of last episode's squad, and uh, the only difference is that I bought a toe in this episode. So it was a pretty fun game. He, he pulled off a few skill moves as well, and it, uh, it was a good game. So yeah, as Edie on the ball here, out on the wing, lovely stuff. He gets actually a volley, and I thought the defender would get it, but uh, he would get a block, and could have been a pretty awesome goal. But in in the 32nd minute, we break through with a toe alone with the keeper. A little ball roll, you know that. And it's a 2 0. Nice goal there from a toe. And uh, we continue on uh, once again on the ball with a toe. Get a shot in, but it hits my own player. Unlucky there. And we continue into the second half. We'll find McGeady here. He makes his way all the way into the box. He gets a little bit lucky here to hang on to the ball. A ball roll, a drag back fake to get past the defender, but the play shot is terrible with the weak foot there. So the game ends at 2 to nil, and I move on through into the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup, which will be the last game of this episode. Um, and uh, we go with the Serie A Brazilian side. I haven't used them in the Gold Cup yet, but I think I'll be playing a little bit more Gold Cup now uh, and the other tournaments instead of Division 1 because I kind of want to win the Division 1, but I end up playing way too... too too much try to win kind of gameplay style and I want to get the entertaining goals and stuff like that so you'll mainly see me playing the tournaments it's a little bit more casual I feel but of course I will 
I will also play a little bit of Division 1 every now and again. But onto the gameplay, he gets up 1-0 and I get an offside goal. But just one minute later, or after that offside goal, I will make it 1-1. And then one minute later again, I'll get another goal to make it 2-1 and give me the lead. And Valentino keeps on being on the ball. Goes past one defender here, takes on another one. Lovely stuff. I try for the long shot, but the keeper will save it there. And we get another shot in with Valentino from the free kick. Unlucky there, hitting the post, the bar, and it doesn't go in. I feel it served a little bit better. But yeah, the game ends at 2-1, to one, and that will be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like the ideas of a little bit of a longer episode uh, every 10th episode. And maybe applying a rule would be pretty cool as well. Let me know what you think about it, and if you have any ideas, let me know. And that's all, that's all guys. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.